Bones Way um, today. It's just a day before the actual Songkran Day and Bangkok is beginning to be emptied out. And so that's why we're coming for lunch here while we don't usually come for lunch. Which is major routine. Usually there'll be lots of cars and people. And so what do you think about Songkran in Bangkok, Bernie? Well, I normally don't like some crap because uh, I think it's crazy. I don't like it wet, which is strange for a guy who works in the ocean. But uh, Bangkok, some crown is great because of it's not much people, easy to get around, and just empty. It's half I the know. population of Bangkok. I love it. It's almost like being back home in all. The road is amazingly empty. And Bangkok is perfect during Songkran. Like people go home for Songkran, but I don't go home for Songkran. I stay in Bangkok. I go home other times when Bangkok is busy. The traffic to to Korat is normally three and a half hours plus. Last time when I came back from Korat during New Year's, it took six hours and a half. So um, yeah. Yeah, traffic. So this is the set lunch at Wine Connection and you can choose um, pasta or pizza with either salad, soup or lime pine. That looks great, but usually we don't go for the lunch set, do we, Rani? No, we don't. We like that one as an appetizer, which is Spanish style gambas with shrimps that's fantastic we had that one last time not so much of our taste the tuna salad yeah i ordered that last time and you ordered that nachos wasn't good so not everything's perfect so it has arrived the greek salad at um wine connection not ordering the other salad it's so nothing so why did you change them because it's only 40 minutes of 20 baht more and you get one more rather than 250 so we saved 200 baht which That's is Which is five pounds. Okay. That's a lot. But we ended up with something we didn't want. It, it looks it looks very fresh though. You try. But you're not happy with it. You try. at best. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So that's our favorite. Mm -hmm. Spanish gambas with shrimp. So basically that's garlic, olive oil, dried chili, and a bit of dried parsley on top. Okay. So pull the one that you've bitten yep. out. <laughs> I tried making this at home before and it tastes exactly like the one here. The difference is that it's so much cheaper to make ourselves, which is normal because there's service and stuff here. Here comes the pizza. Nice thin crust. So the only thing that I'm not liking is salad. As you can see, there's some brown bits and, you know, the salad looks old and even the cucumber looks old. How do you make cucumber looks old? Come here. 
So, yeah, you made this at home one time. Yes. And it was delicious. Yep. How come it never happened again? Because I never have time. I work all the time. Yeah, you, you want me to work. You should please your husband. You, you're the one who's <laughs> not letting me quit my job. <laughs> But I still think it does not wow me in the sense that I have to travel out here the whole 10 minutes from home to this place. No. I mean, the crust, the dough, the pineapple, I don't know, something changed or I changed, I don't know. And this, canvas, cream, I can make it at home. And it's not good. How much? How much was it? Six sixty. Six hundred and sixty. Six hundred and sixty service charge included. Yeah. Yeah. To, for six sixty, I could have gone to Salad Factory and be so much more satisfied. How does it get to six sixty though? Canvas 250. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the lunch set is 269. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're not impressed? Not impressed, not coming back. And you know there's lots of starving people in Africa and stuff? Yeah. You should appreciate your food. I know, but they're not here. I can't give them right away. And I'm not gonna be eating things that I don't like. That's my go. 